A major technology upgrade to the state's unemployment system will start tomorrow and many other changes will follow. This comes as hundreds of state employees are now tackling a flood of claims from hundreds of thousands of workers who have lost their jobs. King 5's Carol Fallen is live in Kent this morning where a lot of businesses are still shut down and these changes are supposed to help a lot of people, right Kira? Yeah, good morning, Mimi. Hopefully these changes will and there are a lot to get to. One of these changes, they are going to be adding hundreds more workers to help with that backlog when it comes to the unemployment claims. So for many of you out there who are without a job because many places like this are still closed, the state is hoping that this will actually put money in your pockets faster. So many of you at home and many people in general will be filing for unemployment this weekend. But keep in mind, customer service lines will be down tomorrow and go back up on Sunday as the state works on a technology upgrade. The state also plans to hire hundreds of additional workers, meaning by the end of next week, more than 1,000 people will be helping with the backlog of claims. So the hope is that it will make a difference for people like John McCoy, the spouse of a King 5 employee who called the Employment Security Department nearly a thousand times hoping to finally get approved after making a mistake on his application. But I'll be honest, it's nerve wracking because, uh, you know, a couple weeks from now, I'm going to have a whole new slew of bills coming up and rent isn't any cheaper than it used to be. So three main changes to unemployment have been made. First, independent contractors, the self-employed and people who meet a certain amount of hours worked will be eligible for unemployment. Second, the weekly benefit will increase by $600. And finally, the benefit period will expand from 26 to 39 weeks. So if you are going to apply, employment staff suggest that you do these things, that you sign up for the state's action alerts, that you use the eligibility checker to make sure you meet requirements, that you have all of your information ready using the department's application checklist, and that you sign up for a secure access account before you start your application. So I realize this is a whole lot of information, so we have posted this in a web story, and I have shared that link on my Facebook page at Kiara L. Fallen TV. You can also just text the word unemployment to the word or to the number that you see there on your screen. That is 206-448-4545, and we will send you all of those details. I'm live here in Kent, Kiara L. Fallen, King 5 News.